Many of you have criticized the BBC for investigating Prophet T.B. Joshua now that he's dead and cannot defend himself. Some of you said that they should have started with President Bola Tinubu. Some even said they should go and investigate the killings happening in Nigeria and leave a dead man alone. I'm not here to defend the BBC. The media you get is as good as the people you have. If Tinubu's friends who knew him in Oshun and Chicago won't talk openly and on camera why he's alive, the media won't make things up to satisfy you. If people only feel free to speak when Tinubu is dead, the media will provide you with the story when it is verified and complete. Haven't the media tried to expose the scandals Apostle Suleiman has been involved in? Did you see how he fought back? Did you see how he silenced his accusers? Did you guys not attack the media for doing their job? I want to remind you all that when Apostle Suleiman dies and people who are currently going through stuff in his church start to talk openly to the media without fear, you always say the same thing you are now saying about Prophet T.B. Joshua. There was a time when Hollywood was telling our African stories. Some people didn't like it. They did not just complain. They did something. They started Nollywood. Nobody tells an independent media what to cover and when. When asked how she chooses what international news is important enough to report because many things are always happening, an international journalist replies, that an international story is important because she's there to cover it. The media is trying. You guys need to help us out. Shubo, please provide us with proof that you have. After all, someone provided evidence of better I do trying to steal poor people's money. Tell us what you know. If we don't use them, then blame us. Thank you. Okay, correct me if I'm right.